Hey guys, I've got another tie tip for you. This, I mean a bow tie tip, a bow tie tip. Uh, you'll notice this bow tie first off is two different colors. I have a video on how to do that and why I'm doing that. That isn't important here. And also if you don't know how to tie a bow tie yet, there's a video on that. So please watch that one first. This is specific to if your bow tie is too long for you. Okay, I'm gonna tie it now. I'm going fast because this isn't the instructional part. This is just a demonstration. I'm gonna tie this bow tie as normal and I want you to watch what happens because you've probably experienced this before. So I'm just tying a bow tie as normal, okay? And now, okay, I tied a bow tie and I'm running into an issue here. The issue is the bow tie's too big and now the back end is way too large, the front's all messed up, I look like a fool. Let's look at it like this. See, look, this is destroyed, this isn't correct. Why? It's because the bow tie's too big. Now a lot of bow ties are adjustable, but even if I adjusted the smallest setting, sometimes it doesn't work out. So here's what to do then. So see, I have these buttons here. This is on the biggest setting right now, so I can demonstrate. I would have adjusted it, but I do want to demonstrate what to do. So now, here we go. This is instructional now. This is what to do if your bow tie is too long. Tie it as normal, okay? Take the long end right here. My right, this is my, this is my right side. This video is mirrored, okay? And you go through the bottom and through the top, okay? Now at this point, you would throw this over, set up your bow tie, and then start going. Don't throw it over. Instead, go underneath and over again. So I'm going to take this part, I'm going to go under, and then loop it back around again. So I've actually now looped twice here. And now you can throw it over, and then do your bow tie setup. Okay, and then bring it back in. Now this is going to be a little bit harder to get through now, because you're, you're dealing with double the fabric, but you know, find the hole, shove it through, it'll work. And now, because I've consumed double the fabric during the looping process, it ends up making the bow tie much shorter. Okay, so now you can see it's it's much more accommodating to my neck. And so let me just adjust it a little bit. There we go. So let me uh, put it to the way it's supposed to be. And there I go. Now my bow tie is reasonable. And this works with any bow tie. I've tried it with several different brands. It always works. What is going on over here? Bow ties, you know? Who can control them, right? So there you go, look at that. Now it's a bow tie that's too long, but it still fits and works perfect because I looped around two times there. It doesn't involve any cutting or getting weird, just one extra step, and it fixes everything up for you. And like I said, if you like the way this is a two-tone kind of a bow tie, it isn't a special bow tie at all. It's actually a regular bow tie with a little trick. Watch that video. And if you don't know how to tie a bow tie yet, please take a step back and do that and then deal with this. Thanks for watching. Let's bring Bow Tie Tuesday back, everybody.